Hey guys, it is time to tidy for 10 minutes. Yesterday we did the kitchen and I wanna show you something. Look at how bad it is again. So we went out on date night and when we came back, um, the kids were baking cookies with like zero recipes. So let's say the kids were adding ingredients to a bowl and saying that they were going to be cookies and it just, it is so great in here. Um, and then extra dishes. Granted, I had left dishes from yesterday because I was done with my 10 minutes. I needed to get ready for my date and all that. So it's not all on the kids. And I love that they were being creative in the kitchen, but I hate that I have to clean the kitchen again. But that is not what we picked. I actually picked something weird that I avoid. And it bothers me every time I think about it. Like every time I go in my entryway and I'm mopping, I think, shoot, I really want to get this done, but I never do it. So I feel like today's the day I'm going to force myself to focus for 10 minutes. I wouldn't do it if we weren't doing these 10 minutes of cleaning together. So let's take advantage of the fact that we are all cleaning for 10 minutes together. And I'm going to clean this one random spot. Hold on. So I picked my entryway, but not cleaning my entryway. I'm wiping down walls. It is a mixture of like, I don't know how, and also my dog, my beauty, she likes to scoot along the wall with her body and then lay down. So I tend to get like rubbed off dirt. Um, cause she also likes to roll around on her back in the yard. So I get like rubbed off dirt onto the walls. There's like miscellaneous scratches and stuff like that. And whenever I'm up, like I really focus down and I see it and it really bothers me. So that is enough chit chat about why I want to clean. So you guys get to your spot, get your cleaning gear. Um, try picking something random, something that you wouldn't do unless absolutely you had to. Um, let's pick something random today. Not super functional, but for some reason we will feel so much better after it's done. And I will set the timer for 10 minutes. All right, my loves, who is ready? 10 minutes on the clock in three, two, one, go. Sorry. I forgot that I say three, two, one. I just hit start. Okay. Let's bring you down. Mm -hmm. All right. We have some junk that we are going to clean. Okay. Ugh, gross. I remember a long time ago, I was asking some other moms, I'm like, how often do you guys wipe down your walls? And they looked shocked. Like they were, they're like, oh, we never wipe down our walls. Like why? I was like, how is that even possible? My kids basically use the walls as a napkin. Like at the time my house was basically covered with a light coat of peanut butter anywhere you went. And the idea of people not having to routinely scrape it off their walls was just a little bit beyond my comprehension. So it feels like a task that I do frequently. It's less now that my kids are a little bit older and, um, and that we've made some, some movement and some advancements and that's a weird way of putting it. So in case you haven't seen some of my other videos, um, I have twins that are both pretty autistic. And so the early days of life and our years were spent a lot focused on therapy and just surviving. Like we were nonverbal for an extremely long time and there was a lot of sensory and overwhelm and meltdowns and so things like 
wiping your hands with peanut butter on the wall wasn't something I was going to address. I was just excited that they were eating something. <clears throat> so we have made tremendous progress and um i talk about it a little bit in my like full laundry with me video that i can link up here hey roy Wait, there's nothing outside to look at so um i can link that i just talk a little bit more about how that journey went and where we're headed all of that to say i don't wipe off my walls nearly as often as i used to and i love it I'm also like catching a little bit of dog hair. I probably should have swept before I started. Okay, this is simply not coming off with a little bit of cleaner and um, the rag. I'm going to have to try like a Mr. Clean. I'm worried it'll take the paint off, but we do have some spare paint and if it becomes an issue, I. Okay, so I did. There we go. All right. Okay. Now I'm having a hard time telling what is just damp and what is dirt. Okay. All right, let's move to this side. I have to move some boxes first. It is the season for extra boxes. We don't live very close to family. Um, they actually live on the opposite side of the country. And so all the grandparents are ordering off of Amazon to get the kids their Christmas gifts. And so, and they're all addressed to me. So I just have a pile of boxes that I haven't opened yet because I have to go through and wrap all the gifts from the grandparents. That is not coming off. Not even a little bit. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to come back and do a Mr. Clean too if if the test spot shows that Mr. Clean Magic Eraser won't pull off the paint. Some of it's coming off. Some of it is absolutely not coming off. Wow, you really beat up the wall in this room. There are so many scuffs. The scuffs aren't coming up as much for you guys as it is in real life, but trust me, it is a very scuffed zone. <clears throat> Move the boxes back. And we have under five minutes. This wall is getting pretty gross. This is one of those 10 minute cleans where I'm just really disheartened. Like my cleaner of choice is doing basically nothing. So I'm going to have to go back through and redo this again. <sighs> hmm. Gosh, that's really bumming me out. Let's get this wall. And this is more handprints than it is anything else. I wonder when my kids are grown exactly how often I'll actually end up cleaning the walls. Like maybe it'll just be a every six months chore oop sorry Leroy did not mean to step on you buddy you okay <laughs> so another zone that I know is going to be pretty dirty that I wanted to get so 
since I'm jumping around, is right here behind this gate. Let me get the clock. It says three minutes, under three minutes left. Let's move it in here so I can keep looking at it and paying attention. That gate's just there because it's, my son steps on it and broke it a little bit and he wanted to show me. But can you guys see? Yeah, you can see a little bit. How, how much dirt's right there? Let's try to get that off. Also, you can see my shadow super good. You're welcome for that. Let's see if I can do this. Not really. Sorry, I'm trying to get you the better shot of how much dirt is actually right here from her rubbing on it. Oh, gross. This is coming off. And really showing me how much dirt was actually there. Gross. Ugh. I think I will put that gate back over this while it dries because it would be so much worse if she rubbed her dusty little body on a wet wall. That would really pick up the dirt. What is this? What is this? Oh no. They painted a hair in. When we moved into this home, it had really, really yellow walls and it made our floors look incredibly yellow. And I'm still on the grayish, the gray beige kick, even though I've heard rumors that it's on the way out, but we picked the Benjamin Moore greetable gray that all of the builders around here were putting in the homes. It's supposed to be a gray beige, but it definitely reads more gray in my home than beige. And I still like it. Maybe in a few years, when gray is definitely dated and out, I'll do something crazy like paint all my walls, navy blue or my wallpaper. Okay, we have 30 seconds left. Let me get this outlet. Okay, so those two spots were really the dirtiest was the entryway and this wall. Oh, here's a very obvious dirt spot. I can get this really quickly, my last few seconds. Come on off. Okay, we are just about done, you guys. <gasps> There's the gong, we are done. Okay, let's raise you up. How was that? We feeling good about what we got accomplished? Oops, caught that up. Okay, I don't, I, I don't feel great about what I got accomplished. I feel like I needed a different product. I feel like the dings are worse than I thought. I thought more was dirt than actual scuffs on the walls. And I'm not gonna look back and be like, oh my God, this looks so much better. I'm going to look back and think, frick, a chore that's going to take longer. So, um, you win some, you lose some, but I will not come back to this. I will go into my kitchen. I need to get my kitchen done. Um, I at least need to make that sink functional by washing all those dishes. So, <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, I hope whatever you picked was super successful and that you feel great about it. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. We're gonna to pick something random to clean and clean for 10 minutes. I love you, bye.